Uh oh. Sad day for David Benavides fangirls. Sorry, ladies. Your boy is uh, most likely a drugs cheat, right? Now, that's not a narrative that I ever push, right? I've always kept it consistent and I've always told you that. The powers that be actually agree with me. They're just virtue signaling, well, like you are, and you actually agree with me. You're just, you just don't have the balls to admit it, right? Right, because as soon as your favorite fighter, Canelo, popped, right, all of a sudden, the narrative went from, quote, we need to clean up the sport of boxing, unquote, to, quote, everybody's doing it unquote right which is a narrative that i had in the past and you're just following in my footsteps now while back in those days you were criticizing me and attacking me right for telling you how it is for telling you what the establishment actually thinks about peds in the sport and why they're virtue signaling just like you are so thanks for proving me right but i gotta rub this in you, you know i do right because this shit's ridiculous so here's uh mr benavides hitting a, a pad that none other than Memo Heredia is holding, right? Now, you would think that maybe Guru Science over here would use some of that magic on his own love handles, muffin top, but hey, <laughs> he knows he knows just how detrimental these, these drugs are to these young guys, so why would he do that to himself, right? He makes millions uh, fucking their bodies up, right? Que le plan is in trouble, says Memo, right? What's he, do what's he doing in Benavides' camp? What's he doing in his camp? Hmm? Do we, not, do we not know who this guy is, right? <laughs> why is he there? Huh? To cook his meals? Is that why he's there? To, to hold a stopwatch on the track? Is that why he's there? Oh, he's doing pad work, right? That's what he's doing. <laughs> How is... And, and I feel more or less the same way about Conte, even though he's he's gone the extra mile, right? A step above to, quote-unquote, prove his innocence, right? He's, he's collaborated with the authorities, as has this snitch, too, right? But at least Conte has, you know, helped catch people, I guess. And I don't care. I, I, I look at them as the same, more or less, right? Uh, but I, like I stated in, in another video, I don't think Conte can get away with as much because he has a history, he has priors. If he gets caught again, you know, he's fucked. Uh, Memo has never been, well, he's never done time. Because he snitched. Uh, Conte has. And for those of you who don't know, he snitched on Conte, right? That's why they're, at least ostensibly, it wouldn't be surprised if they were working together. Mortal enemies, right? I wouldn't at all be surprised if they were working together to uh, help the establishment eliminate some of these problematic guys, right? Jarrell Miller comes to mind. Anyway, um... Right, so I'm I'm not saying this is happening at all, but you know may, maybe Memo spikes them, uh, and Conte catches them in some cases. You know what I mean? <laughs> Could be, I don't know, or something like that. Anyway, uh, so while you could kind of understand Conte, while the, you you can make excuses for why the establishment has let him back in because he's he's helped out. Right, he's given a lot of his knowledge to the establishment, but uh, how do you justify Memo being in the sport? Right, if if we're so anti PEDs in boxing and the goal is to clean up the sport, right? You would see tens, if not hundreds, of articles over the years uh, talking about right how this or that fighter is working with Memo and and questioning, putting that on Front Street, questioning that. And bringing, reminding everybody of this guy's history, right? And then looking at studying, you know, body transformations of, of all of his fighters, uh, their knockout percentages going up as, as they're going up in 
in weight and stepping up in the level of competition, things of that nature, right? Every single body who virtue signaled about, well, I don't know, Pacquiao, let's say, right? Or Povietkin, let's say, right? Those foreign guys that are problematic to us, right? Because they're coming over here and, and they're taking our money and, you know, giving it to the poor people of the Philippines, let's say, right? Undermining our economy, right? Um, bleeding our e economy, whatever that is, right? Um, if it really were about cleaning up the sport, the narrative would have remained consistent, right? Especially when it comes to the boxing world, the authorities, right? The, the, the so-called journalists, right? It's, it's cute. Showtime doesn't fail. They show this to us, right? It, it's a message to those in the know, in my opinion, and, and you're not supposed to talk about this. They're just putting it out there, right? Why, why, why is Memo there? Why is Showtime, right? He gets like three seconds of camera time. Why? That's not necessary. Right? Why is that there? Right? It's a message to someone to, you know, I don't know, watch yourself, be on your A game, right? Step up to testing. Uh, what's his face? Plant is with snack, right? So have Conte try to get, you know, those protocols, drug testing protocols designed by Conte to try to catch Memo's guy. Maybe, I don't know, right? It's, there are so many different battles going on here, right? This is one of them, probably. This is Memo going up against Conte, right? These guys are mortal enemies, at least ostensibly, right? But at the same time, they're former, and I would say still, colleagues, right? So why isn't why is why do why do we get these like little sneak peeks, right? Why why is that all that we get? Why aren't there being tons of articles written about this, right? How is this massive six foot three guy who was 260, 300 pounds at one point of his life ten years ago, right? How is this guy making 168 pounds? How, right? How is he walking through just dropping his hands and bombing all these guys out, right? Chin up in the air. Right? Big, strong, you know, has huge size advantage over his, his opponent. He looks indestruct indestructible, right? The Mexican monster. I thought he was a, at least 50% Ecuadorian, but hey, <laughs> it's this, this ain't about truth, right? It's about money. So, you know, as I told you many years ago, and I'm going to keep reminding you whenever convenient, phone me. Uh, all that, let's clean up the sport of boxing, was a whole bunch of bullshit all the way around, whether it was the fans, right? I'm not saying everybody, but in general, whether it was the fans, the establishment, uh, the fighters themselves, it was always bullshit. It will forever remain bullshit. They don't want to do that. They just want, they want to clean up their opponent, right? And be able to do whatever they want themselves, right? Because... I mean, there's, there's millions of dollars at stake. How is this fucking rocket science? It never was. Not to me. So it's nice, I guess, to see that some people are finally catching on to what's going on and are somewhat able to speak the truth. But it's too bad it took your favorite fighter getting caught for you to finally, you know, uh, speak the truth sometimes and then be silent other times and maybe even contradict yourself and still virtue signal here and there and criticize this or that guy for failing, right? I mean, fuck. <laughs> What's his face? Pacquiao's former strength and conditioning coach, right? Who was, turned out to be nobody at the end of the day, right? But because he gave Pacquiao a shake, a milkshake, right? That was proof. That was universally hailed as proof. Just about universally, right? At least on one side of the pond. As proof, right? An email sent to uh, allegedly, Teddy Atlas, that he never showed us the email. And even if he did, th there was nothing incriminating in the email anyway. But just because there was an, some email allegedly sent to Teddy Atlas and Big Mouth talked about it, mentioned it, right? That was proof that Pacquiao was roided up, right? You got all these these fighters these days. Just, I mean, there's so much evidence of what's going on, right? 
and everybody's moaning about this shit. What a bunch of fucking clowns, man. This is this is why boxing is a fucking joke, right? Just let just just don't talk about it, right? Let them all do what they will. Stop with the drug testing. Just you're not preventing anything. There haven't been fewer deaths. Uh, if anything, there's just been more fighters getting caught than ever before. So wouldn't that be maybe evidence of more PEDs in the sport, right? We're catching more people now than ever before. So how are we cleaning up the sport? It doesn't make any sense, are we? No, it's not about that. It was never about that. It was always about cleaning up your opponent and roiding yourself. That's another of those subplots, uh, minor, major, other battles going on in, in just about every major fight. It's just one of them. And it has nothing to do with, with the sport. It shouldn't. Right? Just let them all juice. Stop fucking virtue signaling. Or if you're going to virtue signal, keep it fucking consistent. What the fuck is Memo doing in Benavides' camp? How is this okay? How is this guy even allowed to be anywhere near fighters? How? And I'm not saying that the law should step in because legally uh, this is probably okay. But, I mean, shaming is a very powerful weapon. And if, you know, the show media wasn't so and they stepped their game up and shamed and exposed these guys, this wouldn't be happening. Or at the very least, they'd have to hide a, a lot better, right? This guy, this guy wouldn't get... I mean, they're promoting this dude, right? They're promoting Memo, helping him make millions. They're literally promoting this guy the fuck out of here <laughs> oh, the reason why boxing is a clown sport is because most boxing fans are fucking clowns really right it's not rocket science right the the the, the, the business right the economy the 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 capitalist side of the sport right responds to the market Right, not the other way around. I mean, there's there's a back and forth. Definitely, you could brainwash a captive uh, audience to to sell them all kinds of shit they don't need. That's part of it, definitely, right? But if you motherfuckers, those of you that this applies to, were to wake up, speak the truth, right? Realize what's going on. You keep it consistent at the very least. They couldn't pull pull the wool over your eyes, and there'd be no money for a guy like memo in the sport to take as big of a risk as he's taking right if there wasn't enough money for for guys like him it probably wouldn't be happening you know what i mean or at the very least everybody would have access to someone like memo and that would even things out but because they're promoting this motherfucker really they are this guy gets to ask so much money for his services that the b-sides generally can't afford them it is what it is. That's all I got to say, man. David Benavides, right? If we're going to keep the same standard that we did when, when it came to Pacquiao and all these other guys, right? David Benavides is a drugs chief, right? And so is Caleb Plant. So what's the big fucking deal? Thanks for watching.